Brothers and sisters, if we become complacent and lethargic and lazy and ritualistic simply because we have built messages in schools for ourselves, then we are not doing the doubt. And we are not enjoying the right and forbidding the wrong. And those who don't enjoy the right, those who don't forbid the wrong, and those that do not do the dawah, the consequence is that we will lose our children and we will be humiliated in many ways. And this is what is happening as we speak. In Toronto, a lady accepted Islam, European lady, and she said, Islam in North America has to change. And how it has to change? Women have to give the khutbah and lead the salah. And she did. And Muslims, just like yourselves, prayed behind her. I want to let you know, every time the European people accepted a religion, they flipped it over. And they will do the same in this country if Muslims do not speak. We're not speaking of all the Europeans, we're speaking of them as a civilization, the people of Rome. The people of Rome, whenever they enter religion, they turn it upside down and they corrupt it. And if you Muslims are silent, you'll find it turned over on your faces. i give you another example. Today, two or three of the states in the United States of America, they have made a law to say that if any Muslims gather together to talk about Khilafah, or to talk about Sharia, they will be locked up. They will be put in prison. This means soon other states will do the same. And how they will know that you brothers sitting here today, or your wives sitting here today, or your sons and daughters sitting in the university today, that you're not just talking about Islam and the history of Islam, that they will lock you up and they will lock up your wives and your children only because they are talking about Islam, because you are silent. This is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Muslims who are silent. And you have to think about that.